So over here you can see that I have a picture and let's say what I want to do is in this picture I want to remove this binocular like thing. In that case what you can do is you can go around and utilize the clone tool right here. So now with the clone tool what you can do is you can hold control on your keyboard and take a sample point over here just like this, this particular point. And I'm going to go around and set my um, alignment over here onto aligned. And what happens is that if I were to click and drag you can see that it copies out the right hand side uh, information over here onto the left. You can click and drag around and let go of the mouse and you can see that I can simply copy that out. And as I let go of the mouse, you can see that I can click and drag out and remove this thing right here just like this. Apart from that, you can also go around and select none. And once I go around and select none, then what happens is that I can click and drag around and you can see that the sample area moves back onto place. So if I were to go around and click here, it copies out that particular sample. If I were to go around and click right here just like this, click right here then I can go around and change around the sample as you can see just like this so just like this you can see that I can go around and change around the sample but as soon as I let go you can see that I need to go around and then uh, start all over just like this again so that is what you have when you actually go around set the alignment to none you can go around and set it out to registered right here just like this and as you register you can see that it actually goes around and register out the alignment first over here so you're on the registration mode right here and now if you were to go to align then it takes that particular alignment section. If I were to go to fix then what happens is that it's always fixed right here and as I click and drag you can see that it takes that particular sample as a brush area and then brushes it out like a color. We can hold control and click right here and you can see that it stays fixed and does not copy out the texture but uses that particular texture as a brush just like this. And that is how you can utilize the clone tool inside of GIMP. So I hope you guys learned something as always and as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.